Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. Doge Day, Doge Coin. Oh gosh, this is just hilarious. I'm reading all this stuff on Twitter here about how uh, the Doge community is trying to celebrate Doge Coin Day and trying to push the price up. We're seeing tons and tons and tons and tons of tweets on this. This is Doge Day. We're gonna push the price up to. I'm from what I'm looking at right now. Most of them are aiming for 69 cents or maybe even the one dollar mark. And the price of Doge Coin is skyrocketing. Currently, right now, it's around 41 cents. And I'm here to tell you, don't buy Dogecoin. On the other hand, I'm here to tell you, I'm going to be selling short Dogecoin. That's right. I'm going to be, I'm going to be selling Dogecoin. That's right. I hold other altcoins a little bit. I've been selling quite a bit since Saturday uh, before the price fall, mainly because the weekly RSI just looked way too high for a lot of these altcoins. So I was starting to sell before the Sunday price shock. Now, what I'm seeing right now is even though I hold a little bit left in the altcoins, now's a good time to hedge by selling the blah, 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 out of Dogecoin. And I'll tell you why. Those of you new to my channel, my name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street trader. Would appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel as well as press the uh, like button. And uh, would appreciate it if you recommend my channel on social media, Twitter, uh, Facebook, YouTube, etc., whatnot. Today currently is uh, April the 20th. That's right, Dogecoin Day. Uh, U.S. time zone, it is currently, uh, sorry, Tokyo time zone is currently 3.38 p.m., meaning that it is 1.38 a.m. Uh, New York Eastern time zone. Let's first do a recap here. What the heck is this Doge Day and what is going on here? Uh, basically, guys, Doge Day is a day that, well, the Dogecoin uh, investors have basically called a day to celebrate the day of Dogecoin. Now, what is Dogecoin? Again, guys, Dogecoin, this is a cryptocurrency that started almost as a joke uh, and now it has just been skyrocketing since then uh, currently the price is at around 0.43 uh, it was the price was before uh, literally late just in April or something like that it was around six cents uh, before that uh, just around you know uh, the end of I believe this is oh sorry just in the January January end of January it was almost zero zero point zero zero four this gun scan just ridiculous returns here absurd returns and mainly because it's getting pushed by celebrities celebrities are pushing this up and what i'm thinking this is again it's market manipulation but it's an easy to push up price because the price is so small so i think a lot of celebrities are just pounding the table on this one because it has just room to skyrocket the volatility is so high on a name on a price that is so small and this is what's causing this meteoric rise and as a result right now we're seeing not just elon musk we've seen elon musk we've seen snoop dogg over the past few months all sort of uh basically supporting this dogecoin here uh and now it seems that you know it, we're having this the day that's dogecoin uh that you know a lot of the i think a reddit horde a lot of the uh, other people on social media are uh causing you know saying that basically 69 cents or one dollar is inevitable and we could take a pit stop at the moon for sure but our lord and savior the doge was sought to be not limited by such small goals so basically just believing that this thing could go on forever so what i'm saying is look guys dogecoin doge day this is all fun it's all fun and good but as an investor we have to think logically is this something that we should be buying is this something that we should be selling and what is the reason and how should we be thinking about this so let me go through my mind uh let me go through my you know my my mindset and why i think that this is actually a uh, sell not a uh, buy so first and foremost guys we can look at google trends for dogecoin and this thing has gone bonkers uh it's nuts right now obviously everybody in the world is searching for this not just in the us but also on a worldwide basis right now it is just skyrocketed to new highs and do note the last high was around january 24th and do note guys that january 24th after that we saw a, vroom, a very very quick and swift crash in the price of course it did go up after that again but right around here this is the last peak here around end of january we went down from all the way from about five cents all the way to around two and a half cents so there was about a 50 percent decrease here at the same timing when google search trends reached a huge peak so that is my first and biggest reason when something gets this popular and it's all of the internet and everybody's trying to buy usually you want to think about doing the opposite because what happens is every single person starts to buy and buy and buy and buy and buy and you start to run out of the incremental buyer because everybody has already put in their cash and they've already bought and when everybody starts to buy then the incremental buying pressure gets smaller and then what happens is just 
a little bit of selling pressure could cause a huge domino effect and just selling, 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 selling the waves of waves of selling to go on. It's very common in any type of, uh, not just cryptocurrency, but any type of investment. Also, the second reason, guys, is Dogecoin, yes, I know we have tons and tons of uh, different opinions on this, but do note, guys, that the Dogecoin supply, it is not limited. Yes, it started with the initial coin production schedule with 100 billion coins in circulation. By mid-2015, there was about 100, 100 billion Dogecoin have been mined with an additional 5 billion coins put into circulation every year after. After. Uh, since 2014, the Dogecoin ja uh, co-founder Jackson Palmer announced that the limit would be removed in an effort to create consistent reduction over its inflation rate over time. So basically, guys, there's no theoretical supply limit. Uh, no, it's not you know going up c crazy amounts, right? Uh, right now, the currency supply I think is at around 129 billion coins. So yeah, it's gone up about 29%. It's not a huge amount, uh, but there is no limit, which it makes it different from Bitcoin. Bitcoin, there is a limit. So that fundamental value fact is as well. We must remember that, yes, although all this stuff is going on and the price is going up and exciting, it's not Bitcoin and it's not what it is uh, compared, I think, to other coins here. The fundamental fact is that if you can continue to increase the supply forever, then the price is should be difficult for it to continue a meteoric rise up so these two big reasons uh, are my first two reasons of why i think you should be selling dogecoin and the last reason is this the last reason is probably the most important this is a investing hedge that's right right now currently the price of not just bitcoin but almost every cryptocurrency out there is going through a pretty dramatic fall here Bitcoin has fallen almost 20% from the highs. Now it's kind of come back here. Ethereum is also going through a steep fall here around 20%. Litecoin, XRP, you name it, guys. They're all going through pretty swift crashes right now. And this momentum, I don't think is going to end. Right now, it's looking like we're still in an early phase of what's called a cryptocurrency sell-off cycle. And this early phase sell-off cycle, you want to be holding something short. Of course, you could be short just Bitcoin itself, but why not? be short something that has more room to fall and yes i think dogecoin has much bigger room to fall this could fall by 50 percent again here and while you hold continue to hold a lot of other altcoins long you want to hold something short and this is one of the few cryptocurrencies i'm seeing right now that still has not it's barely gone down from its peak Every other one that I'm looking at, they've basically fallen at least somewhat from its peak here. There's not a single one I think I can really find that hasn't moved whatsoever. So Dogecoin is one of the very few that has not gone down. And as a result, I think that there's still incremental sign for selling pressure there. So last but not least, guys, how should you implement this idea and what should you be doing with your strategy? As usual, guys, investing is and always will be self-responsibility. Please do note, guys, that whatever I say in my videos, obviously, it's my position talk. Obviously, yes, it's my mindset. So get a lot. Of different opinions from different people and at the end of the day guys make your own decisions very important for investing very important actually for any type of life decision keep your investment separate for long-term investment for your retirement account and short term for anything that's technical this can be any few days to a few months. You don't need to become a professional day trader. It's just riding the trends up and down. It's a very different strategy from buying and holding long term for your retirement. Today, what I'm talking about is short term. Yes, long term, you want to hold a very diverse portfolio of a lot of different commodities and cryptocurrencies for your retirement account because yes i do believe in the cryptocurrency cycle however short term guys right now we are in a downtrend you got to be shorting something you got to be selling something because things are in a downtrend they're not in an uptrend yes so right now when all things are going down most things have already gone down yet and i continue to hold small positions i think in a lot of my favorite altcoins such as zec neo bitcoin cash xrp uh dash eos i continue to hold especially still dash i'm still holding a decent amount just because it's below the peak of february 19th or mid-february so there's a little bit undervalued compared with the other alts so i'm holding some of these positions i gotta sell something long and to be honest what i'm thinking right now is at least in my short term portfolio this is a short term portfolio here whatever amount that i'm holding long i'm gonna sell the equal amount of dogecoin that's right that sounds pretty crazy right let's say if you hold a hundred thousand dollars worth of altcoin in this short-term portfolio then yes i think it means that you should be selling 
about $100,000 with the Dogecoin. And you say, oh my God, that's a lot. Dogecoin's crazy. Well, if that seems too much to you, then do half the amount, do $50,000, whatever floats your boat. If you want, that's too much, do 25,000. But you gotta sell something. I think right now you wanna be completely hedged in this short-term portfolio, meaning that whatever you're holding long in the altcoins, then you wanna be holding the same amount short or selling something else. And that's something right now, I think the best candidate is Doge. If you're curious as to some of the accounts that I'm using, Feel free to check out the links below for CFDs, cryptocurrencies, etc. Feel free to check out your own accounts as well. There's so many different ones right now. At the end of the day, it's more about investment timing. It's about your investment strategy. And it's about how to take risk. This is the most important part. So do take note of all this. Thanks so much, guys, for watching my video. If you enjoyed today's content, please press the like button, the subscription button, and also would appreciate if you recommend my channel on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Social media would appreciate your help. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and I will talk to you soon.